Master, why do you speak in parables whenever a crowd is near? The knowledge of the secrets of the kingdom of God have been given to you. But to others it comes by means of parables, so they may look but not see, and listen but not understand. What do the parables of the Bible hide? The parable of the man and his two sons. Christ said in the Holy Bible, What do you think? There was a man who had two sons. He went to the first and said, Son, go and work today in the vineyard. I will not, he answered. But later, he changed his mind and went. Then the father went to the other son, and said the same thing. He answered, I will, sir, but he did not go. Which of the two did what his father wanted? The first, they answered. Jesus said to them, Truly I tell you, the tax collectors and the prostitutes are entering the kingdom of God ahead of you. For John came to you to show you the way of the righteousness, and you did not believe him. But the tax collectors and the prostitutes did. And even after you saw this, you did not repent and believe him. This parable points out to a very important variety related to the people's stance from faith as called for by Christ. Glory be to him. The Jewish during the time of the first coming were waiting for Christ and longing for his salvation but at the same time were attached to the teachings of the clerics and the priests who took a negative stand from Christ's call. Therefore, the people who await the salvation impatiently fail the exam and the trial, although they believe they are fulfilling the Lord's will by holding on the teachings of the priests and rejecting Christ, who has come to save the world. As such, the biggest problem is when man thinks he is fulfilling divine will while he is actually fulfilling Satan's. The only people whom among them who passed the test were the sinners and the tax collectors, such as Peter, Matthew, and the rest of the disciples that the people considered to be of a much lower status compared to the clerics and priests, and that they are not among the destined to recognize the rightful Savior from among the people as for the time of the second coming, the same thing will happen all over again. For the failure will be the fate of the public who are attached to the teachings of the traditional church and who have forgotten the recommendations of Christ with regards to trials and exams, for they will take a negative stand, just as the stand their ancestors have taken towards the first call of Christ. And just as Mary Magdalene, the sinful woman, and the twelve disciples who were sinners during the first preaching around 2,000 years ago became believers, the sinners likewise are the ones who will recognize the call of the coming Christ. Unlike the other people who actually believe that they have more right and ability to acknowledge the right and follow the divine Savior coming from heavens. The entire world shall witness this historic case and the reality behind the stand of the church and its followers from the return of Christ, glory be to him. Nowadays we hear those people calling for faith, but their actions prove otherwise, for they have become renowned for suddenly supporting politicians and backing wars, killings, and destruction. The real meanings of Christ's saying in the Bible, but many who are first will be last, and many who are last will be first, shall become clear that those whom people think are believers are actually the worst enemy of Christ, while those whom they believe are sinners and guilty are his true supporters and the closest people to him.